I have not talked to you guys all day. And it is 12.22, so it's not super late, but usually, hang on, sorry. Usually, I guess start on my vlogs a little sooner, but I've just been busy. I went to, the, let me show my wallet, I'm sorry. I'm just like all over the place right now. Um, right, uh, military ID, that, that, all right, we're good. So, um, I woke up really early, because the girls decided to wake up early. It was really annoying, because I went to bed super late, thinking I'm like, oh, we'll get up at seven if I go to bed at midnight. Hey, seven hours sleep. Nope, they decided to get up at 5 a.m. So I am a tired, tired person, but I finally got back to the gym. I did legs, biceps, and triceps, and glutes, and tomorrow I'm doing chest, back, shoulders, and cardio. Um, let's see, I don't think the nails come yet. I am off to the mall right now, so as you guys remember, I was supposed to go yesterday. The whole ordeal happened that I just like, Arr. anyways, so now I'm going to the mall just to go to the Mac store um, so I can get some Mac Fix Plus. And um, let's see, yeah, I think that's everything I need. Mac Fix Plus, is there anything else I need? I think I got everything, because I need a gel liner and I got that. I'm trying to get around brand because my drugstore was out of the Maybelline Gel Eye Studio. Maybe I'll go to Walmart and get the Gel Eye Studio on the way home because I want to check out their washi tape my planner we'll see though oh we're all good no um, no I, I don't know I, I, it's kind of up in the air what I'm gonna be doing for sure though I am going to go get some Mac Fix Plus and I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to be getting like but I can't remember I can't remember at all and it's driving me nuts I do need to get lashes for not this job this tomorrow but the next one, so if I'm not gonna get those today, I don't feel like getting those today. I mean, if I go to Walmart, I'll get them, but as of right now, I do not plan to get them today. No, I need to get lashes, I need some for a video coming up. Urgh. All right, so I'm going to Mac, and then I'm going to Wally World. Yeah, that's what's happening. I have a stroller, right? I think I do. Yeah, I have a stroller. Anyways. Ooh. It was so strange, like usually people feel really good when they get back to the gym, but like halfway through my workout, I just got really depressed. And I don't know why. Well, actually I know why, um, but it, I'm feeling it again, like I was feeling really good about myself and then I started working out again. And now I looked in the mirror and I felt like crap about myself. Like I feel like after I work out, the fat I do have on me is just so much more prominent because you know, all the muscles underneath are tight. So when it, it makes the fat that you do have on the surface look gross because at least when your muscles are relaxed everything is laying smoothly but like when like the specific muscle groups are you know I'm gonna call it pumped up because it's the only word I can think of right now um the the fat doesn't sit on top of it is smoothly so it's gonna make your fat look worse so that's why I'm always like so depressed about myself in the middle of workouts or right after because you're seeing your fat in all its glory you know what I'm saying? So like the next day after I work out, like when I look in the mirror, I always feel like really good about myself because then my muscles relax and everything's sitting more smoothly on them. But seriously, I do not like how I look in the middle of a workout or right after. It is just, it makes me so depressed. Um, ugh, I'm not looking forward to driving all the way to the mall. You know, back in the day, even like a few months ago, I've been like, I wanna go to the mall. And now I'm like, nope, I don't wanna go to the mall. But I have to because that's where Mac is. <sighs> oh, I forgot my energy drink. I'm so tired. 5 a.m. Why? Why, kids? But they're going to fall asleep on the way to the mall, and I'm just going to end up being super jealous of them. But then again, the silence I might be experiencing, though, would probably be great. So we will see. Mason, what are you doing? We're about halfway back actually. 
Um, like a third bag actually. Um, I did a got I did got a few things. Really, I got the one thing I need for Vanilla things. I needed some Mac Fix Plus. But um, I got a lipstick from Mac that I've been wanting forever now. So I really like the Creme de Nude lipstick, but it is like a satin finish, and my favorite is matte. And I was like, do you guys have something like that's like right in that ballpark? that is similar to creme de nude but is matte and they said honey love and i was like oh wait i've been wanting to try a honey love forever now so um I'm letting the semi truck go anyway so i got honey love finally <laughs> so i got that one and then i went over next door to sephora mac and sephora like two doors down from each other that's dangerous you guys and i stood there literally for 10 minutes comp contemplating do i want bone and arrow or do I want Lolita from uh, Kat Von D? So I asked one of the ladies, cause those are two like I for sure want, but I'm like, okay, which one do I want first? And I've been wanting them for years. Um, and so we sat there and we swatched them and she said, since my lips pull more red, that bone and arrow wouldn't look the brown that I want it to. And that Lolita, because I wear a lot of neutrals, um, would kind of, instead of making my lips blend in with what I'm wearing, it, can, it would make my lips stand out and compliment me more, which is very true. So. I got Lolita first, and then I'm gonna get Bone and Arrow, um, who knows, somewhere in the future. So I got Lolita, and not Lolita 2, I like Lolita 1. So I got Lolita, and I'm gonna go back and get Bone and Arrow, but then I also got the Kat Von D um, under eye brightening powder in the shade Petals, because, I mean, I've been using my RCMA one, but I just, I wanna try something different. Once something that's really brightening, um, and I just, I'm kind of over my RCMA, like I love it, like, like it's amazing but I just I like you know switching things up and you guys know that like a lot of youtubers what they'll do is they'll use it's like the same primer foundation concealer like for every video like to an extent me I'm always I'm literally always switching it up just because that's what I like to do so um, I noticed I was kind of in a rut with the RCMA and um, it's usually it's for my clients anyway I was just I didn't have any other under eye setting powder so basically this one is mine and my RCMA is gonna go back to just being for my clients so yeah um, just got those four things and I ordered as I mentioned did I tell you guys no I didn't tell you guys I ordered um, I placed my first ever Kylie Cosmetics order. It's probably going to be my last order. Not because I have like a problem with them. I haven't had an issue. Like I literally just ordered it. It's just that I don't really have a desire to buy anything from that band, for that brand. I'm not opposed to Kylie Jenner. I'm not for Kylie Jenner. She's just another person to me. So it has nothing to do with Kylie Jenner. Um, but I hadn't purchased anything yet because I always wait. Like when a, when a new brand comes out or like a new product comes out, I always wait until like the hype is over and it's not like brand new because when something is brand new there's gonna be all these hiccups and there's gonna be issues and there's gonna be people waiting at checkout and you might not get your product so i always just wait till the big beginning of the hype blows over and then i get it and the only thing i really had an interest in trying was the glosses because um i was looking at reviews and i never i don't know just the so Literally, so cute and like. Those are the three that I wanted, so those are three I ordered. It's probably the last thing I ever order. Like, if I order anything else from her, it's probably just gonna be the uh, um, uh, Malibu. I think it's called Malibu. Is it called Malibu lipstick? It's like a it's like a new, peachy brownish nude. That'd be the only thing I'd ever order after this, for now. Like, this is how I see it right now. I never like have anything set in stone because my mind can change. I'm a human being. Anyways. So yeah, I placed an order for those three glosses. So that's all the makeup I got today. Yesterday, um, I placed an order for some Adidas stuff just for some more workout clothing. I got two pairs of leggings and then a top. Um, the top isn't really for working out. I really sometimes like to wear workout clothing just like casual wear. So I also got a top that is casual, you know, sporty, but it's not like what I would work out in. So got some of that and then I got some more stickers for my planner I have to go home and just show you like my layout so far I really 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 like it <coughs> excuse me Ooh, it tastes like banana ice cream nice cream banana and ice cream me. yes we're gonna go home and have ice cream studio make you yeah I didn't forget we're gonna go home and have some strawberry ice cream Yep, we have to get home first, though. It's kind of a long drive. Dude, the mall's like 25 minutes from my house. Who drives 25 minutes to go to a mall? 
maybe that's why I'm not as motivated to go anymore because growing up, the mall was like a 10, 12 minute drive at most. That's like with traffic. I think it was like eight minutes without traffic. So it was a lot more motivating to go to the mall. But like now I live with no traffic, 22 minutes away. Um, and that's really unmotivating. Honestly, if I didn't have to get stuff for freelancing, I wouldn't have gone out at all. At all. Which is not like me because I'm the kind of person I'm like, let's go to the mall. And I'm like, no, I don't want to go to the mall. <sighs> God, I, I think I'm really tired. God, this Honey Love lipstick is everything. Like, I really like the Creme de Nude that I was telling you guys about, but it was always like, I don't know, it always wore up. This is such a good nude for my skin tone. Anyway, so I'm cleaning up right now. I'm getting ready for my client tomorrow. So got lots to do. So I just wanted to quickly mention something before I wrap up this vlog. Um, so I ordered my Kylie Cosmetics lip glosses this morning. Uh, like noon? Noon? Yeah, so it'd be like 9 a.m. their time. It's shipped 30 minutes later, but I always like go oh well when something ships it doesn't mean it actually leaves their warehouse so like i've had things ship but then not leave the warehouse for a week so i was like whatever but then i checked the tracking it shipped and then departed the post office itself like i want to say four hours after i ordered it that's some good shipping you guys that's crazy and it was free shipping so i mean i don't know everyone was saying that it was their product always took so long but I mean am I literally shipped and left the warehouse and the post office within like four hours that's good anyways <laughs> that's what I just want to quickly mention so um I wrapped up my video from earlier and I am now going to bed my freelancing thing got moved to Sunday thank god because I was not prepared I'm so tired